So. Um. I'm waiting for some seconds. So maybe we can. Okay, so we will start. So may the force be with you. Welcome to Nabla Graph Community Meeting. Um, ah, let's get started. So today, um, as you know, uh, this is our agenda. But one different thing is that our ad hoc topic in, in, in this meeting will be the uh, overview of the uh, release 3.1.0, which was uh, released uh, weeks before. Um, and that's also, you know, also our project heartbeats. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, we don't have new members uh, in this meeting. So we'll go through and we will have this meeting bi-weekly. So uh, everyone can bring their um, topics and their proposal, their stories uh, to the meeting. So we can have sync discussion and everyone else will uh, learn from you. Um, and feel free to reach, reach out to us in, in, in Slack and uh, uh, get uh, GitHub discussions. So um, we released 3.1 finally, and uh, you can refer to the release note in the documentation. Um, there are a bunch of uh, um, improvement and uh, bug fixes, uh, but uh, I'm, I will uh, walk you through the, the main um, those ones I, I consider wor or worthy uh, to be um, discussed later. I will do that. So yes, I'm going to walk you through. Okay. So um, the main part of this release are some uh, improvement, uh, refactor or uh, optimization. Um, the first one is uh, we now move the download and ingest. So uh, these two are, are function related to uh, we can generate the SSD files from the Nebula Exchange, if you, uh, you know that. So from Nebula Exchange, you can uh, generate underlying files, which can uh, sideload, can be sideload to Nebula Graph. This will save the Nebula Graph cluster from you know, sorting data when the file, uh, when the data was uh, written uh, to Nebula Graph. Uh, so if you are doing uh, like billions of vertexes ingest in batch every day, so you can do it uh, while this exchange and uh, download ingest uh, fashion. So download means you, you will download uh, the SSD files in HDFS uh, from the, uh, 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 from the uh, Nebula Graph cluster. Uh, and this requires you have the HDFS client be installed in the storage nodes. So, and the storage nodes will fetch the files into the, uh, the local disk. Uh, and then you, you give an ingest to uh, make this SST in injection merging uh, jobs being started. And previously, both of about two uh, jobs will be done in your... Uh, console session in a sync way. So you are blocked there. And if your session is lost, there will be interruption of this long run uh, execution. Now we, we just, uh, in, in this release, we bring this these two uh, actions to uh, manage by the job manager. So you can shoot it in an async way. The, the command it itself will be released uh, in, in short time, and you can then uh, show the jobs to see uh, the progress uh, of the given uh, ingestion, uh, ingestion uh, works jobs. Yeah, so uh, next one is, um, I think it's, it's quite Im important that um, a lot of our users, users have noticed that we temporarily removed the, the, the balance of the, of the cluster 
uh, function out from 3.0 because we found some uh, rough implementations not perfect and we don't, we don't, we don't want user to uh, trigger a data loss in the in, in, from the 3.0 and in the in this release we bring the uh, yes yeah. hi Tiago welcome can can you hear me yes okay uh, could you give us a, a brief introduction after I finish this part later? Mm, maybe. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, uh, actually uh, this time as, as zero, only me. So welcome to our oh. community meeting. <laughs> so it will be just you and me, okay. Yeah, but we will have this. <laughs> Uh, recorded, archived, and uh, upload to YouTube. Maybe some others will benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm giving a, I, uh, I'm giving a brief introduction of those uh, improvements introduced by 3.0 that's worthy to be mentioned. Uh, so it just began. It just began. Um, so this is a, a flag. Uh, named uh, exper experimental feature. So after enable that, some of the experimental features can be enabled. Uh, for now, we have two uh, of them. One is TOS. The TOS is the transaction over storage side. So it will um, sacrifice some of the writing performance to have more uh, transaction, but it is not the pure uh, ACID, but uh, uh, in single uh, command uh, perspective, it will be uh, committed uh, from the storage side in some some sort of transaction. Um, the other were, uh, are the very important uh, ones that you can do the balance data and balance data uh, leader with this flag being enabled. So we temporarily. Uh, disabled the balance feature uh, from 3.0 because some of the raft implementation is of uh, issues in, in rare conditions, but still uh, we risk in, in in data loss, so we disabled that, and now it's 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 brought back with this uh, experimental feature flag. Um, there are some more other. Uh, improvements. So uh, in the left side, they are, uh, they are uh, open cipher related. Uh, this one is um, we can um, filter based on the patterns. Uh, so we can write queries like this. Uh, you can uh, filter it with certain uh, match patterns. And another one is uh, previously we don't support uh, the variable uh, I list uh, twice, more than once. So now this was fixed. Another thing is uh, previously in the, you know, the uh, variable of the hoops, uh, previously you have to provide a max hoop if you uh, specified this dot dot. And now you it's optional. So you can, you, you don't have to provide the, the upper bond of these hoops. And uh, we have a sweet uh, command named clear space now, which means you will clean all the data, but the schema. So this is an example. Uh, so here, before we clean the space, uh, you can see we have uh, data and also we actually have the index created. And after you um, clean the, uh, the space, you will see all the data is, uh, are gone and uh, all the schema, uh, including the, the indexes are, are, are um, reserved. It's not cleaned up. So it, this is a quite handy feature when you are dealing with uh, a lot of uh, test environments. You, you don't have to re, uh, delete and re recreate the space if you just want to clean up the data, but be sure to be uh, careful when you're doing this. You don't want to do it in, uh, in production in most of the cases. 
Okay, so there are some um, optimizations. Um, so uh, most of them are uh, performance uh, wise, uh, like in subgraph and find pass, uh, we apply more um, operating uh, rules to uh, improve the performance. But for details, you can refer to the corresponding uh, PR and there are certain test cases in, in this PR. Um, and we also um, auto optimize the pass uh, op operator so that some of the, in, in certain cases, some of the redundant passes will not be fetched. So it will improve the performance. And also, um, uh, we optimize the get props method from the storage layer. So it's more uh, optima. And so that's through the go and the yield clause. Um, it, it will uh, pro, um, uh, avoid uh, extracting redundant properties in certain cases. And uh, the other side is well, we uh, we have some more progress on the uh, uh, the storage push down for certain operators. Uh, for get props, we now push down uh, two more uh, conditions. One is uh, the filter; the other is the, the limit of the get get props. So, when possible, this limit can be pushed down. Uh, to the storage side, so you, you, you don't have to uh, get all data all the way from storage to the graph D. It's reduced uh, the, the um, IO uh, usability. And uh, the other one is uh, uh, aggregation in lookup is now uh, pushed down. Um, and there are some other um, improvements uh, one, the first one is actually fix certain issues when you have multiple uh, data paths. Uh, this is a data path internally for Nebula Graph, not the, the one in, in, in operating system. So if you config multiple disks um, to uh, storage D, and this is more um, aware uh, with this configuration in certain 40 cases. And the job manager was uh, refactored, have um, addressing some certain uh, scenarios, uh, issues. And another improvement is previously we didn't uh, make the queue query uh, quite uh, role-based uh, permission checked. So now uh, with the authorization uh, with, with more uh, fine-grained uh, control of this uh, queue query. So ideally you cannot queue other spaces, a user uh, without access to your space, they cannot queue you. Previously it's not prevented. Um, yeah, there are a couple of uh, uh, optimizations are actually underlying configuration related. Uh, the first one is we, we, we just uh, do this by changing the default uh, configuration value, which is the auto remove invalid space. And that says, um, if you just dropped uh, a, a graph space and uh, with this uh, flag being set as true, if you restart the cluster, um, the, the data will be, forced, uh, will be uh, removed. Previously, it just be marked as deleted but uh, it will be only re removed in next compaction. But this flag will, will be more uh, aggress uh, aggressively uh, a policy to do so. You know, uh, a, a lot of users concerns about uh, the disk uh, uh, usage. So it is pos pos uh, and we, we consider this to be uh, by default enabled, uh, make more sense. Uh, this this is a, a new configuration introduced by one of our uh, contributors. So uh, literally, it means we we now can limit uh, per IP per users max sessions. So some of the crazy 
application or clients will not uh, make the whole cluster uh, explored with uh, tons of sessions uh, stocked in, in, in MetaD. Um, this is another flag that we actually uh, bring the corresponding uh, feature or configure, configurable or flags from the underlying RocksDB. So with this uh, flag being set true, the rock, uh, it means RocksDB, uh, RocksDB will uh, disable the, the page cache of the operating system. So if we, if we know what we are doing, we can leverage this, especially when we are doing some tests uh, re related to performance, we can have more precisely uh, regarding the memory part control. And uh, this is a, a, another default change uh, configurations. So uh, we introduced the, the KV separation, if I recall correctly, from 2.6. And that's a great uh, choice for us to uh, have the performance improvement, especially when our properties are, are quite large. By default, it's setting uh, to false, but when you set to true, uh, we had to uh, set a threshold saying that after you reach uh, your uh, pro properties reach to, to this threshold size in, in bytes, the variable will, set, will be persistent separately instead of, toge instead of together with the key. As we know, the underlying they are key values uh, for the storage side. And now we, we change the default value from zero to 100 to potentially not confuse the users. So if they set flag into two, but left the default uh, uh, to zero, the, it, 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 it won't be, uh, I, uh, the optimal in most of cases, because if your variable is quite small, you just uh, save it uh, persistent together with the key, it, it will be somehow uh, more performant actually. So give a non-zero value uh, makes more sense. Um, another, uh, this is a small change that uh, previously we hard code the, the max uh, depths uh, of the exp uh, expression uh, depth. So this is this step not is not related directly related to our uh, query like uh, pipeline or uh, width. It's not that depths. Uh, it's it's an underlying uh, depths uh, of the uh, graph query when it's parsed as operators. So this more uh, fine uh, grained depths. But previously we just gave a, a value hard coded, but in, in rare cases, some user will, will reach out to this threshold and uh, uh, it should be uh, configurable. And this is this PR bring this uh, value to be configurable. And by default, it's, it's like 512. I think most of the user uh, should not care about this. Um, yeah, that, that's most of the, uh, the improvements. So there are a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, I don't think they were to be uh, described in this meeting. So, but be sure to check out the release note if you are interested. Uh, re regarding the upgrade, so um, we have a up, uh, DB upgrader utilization. So it's actually a, a binary files if you are done, you install the Nebula from a binary. Uh, like Debian or RPM package, um, it's not included in, in the container uh, image by default. Um, so we only need to do this to run this to help uh, change the underlying uh, data files uh, because we will bring those structure change between the major versions. But uh, if like if you are running 3.0, you want to upgrade to 3.1, all you need is to replace the package, uh, replace the binary files. So that's all you need. But in case you're upgrading from the previously versions like 2.0 or 2.6, you have to do uh, leverage this, uh, this utility, but be sure to follow procedures in documentation. And uh, yep. And that's, that's all of the core, uh, the core database perspective. And the, in last read cycle, we, have, uh, we don't have too much update on the surrounding toolings. 
uh, one of them was to be mentioned is the Kubernetes operator. So we support, actually we support this for, for some time, but, but in, in, in the beginning of 3.0, we didn't support it. And now uh, the, the uh, Kubernetes operator supports 3.0 already, uh, like months month before. And also in our uh, Nebula contribute uh, GitHub org, we have a, uh, we have a new uh, project called Graph Ocean. It's contributed by one of our con uh, community contributors uh, from uh, JD. So it, it's a Java ORM. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check the, the repository. So um, the only one uh, surrounding tooling uh, that open that which is open source that was to be mentioned with some news are uh, the studio, so there are a bunch of new uh, features and and uh, refactors on this project. So now we, for example, two of them are major ones. We support multitask uh, uh, sync import, and uh, now you can view the progress uh, logs of those tasks, etc. And uh, now uh, we have a GUI based, wizard based uh, importer. Uh, we wrapped the Nebula importer with the, the studio to make it like a wizard. So you don't have to compose your long uh, Bible, long YAML file. Instead, you can do it with clicks if you prefer. And now it supports some uh, sort of templates. So be sure to check out that feature. So I think that's, that's, that's all of them, yeah. Uh, so we, 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 finished, um, we finished that part. So actually that's most of the today's topics I would like to share. And uh, uh, Taigo, welcome. If you are uh, comfortable, would you mind introduce yourself to us? Yes. Oh, uh, my name is Thiago. Um, yeah. uh, I am a Brazilian Go developer that lives in France. Uh, uh, today I work for a company called Weborama, okay. and I was invited by Jamie to be an open source co contributor and uh, give uh, feedback, and perhaps write uh, articles ah. about uh, Nebula DB. So ah. I decided, okay, let's jump and see what's going on. Um, since I'm a Go developer, I start to look into the Go driver. I read the, if I submit a few small pull requests. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your, I saw your name was so familiar. Sorry, I forgot. Oh yeah, I know, <laughs> I know you're, you're, you're quite a master on, on the graph database already. So welcome yeah. to the community. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. And uh, well, I was not expecting this. The just <laughs> to us, but as you you mentioned, okay, this is uh, recorded. And uh, well, I'm. I hope I can uh, add some value for this community and uh, this uh, family of softwares. Thank you. Well, I'm so. It's my pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, anytime, if anything, just you, you can just ping me in, in Slack. Yeah, and I saw your uh, issues uh, that you will want to do something around the, the, the Go client, right? Thank you so I much. I think the, mm -hmm. since I have more, mm -hmm. so I, previously I was working with Perl. I'm fully worked with Go in the last three years, uh, like 100% of my time. So when oh. I look, say, hmm, I think I can add some value here with my experience. But of course, there is the experience of uh, graph databases that uh, I must um, I must read a little bit more about the documentation and use more the Nebula DB to fully understand uh, uh, this uh, solution. Um, in our company, we have some use cases for this, and this can be one of the available solutions. So uh, this is what 
why I am so excited to be be part of this. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so looking forward to what you will bring us. Actually, this is pure gold to us. We, we frankly, we don't have uh, so 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 good uh, go hackers previously. You can you can see from the the client code, I believe. So no, it's uh, <laughs> it's this is. Uh, um, I think the most important is have things straight. Like, okay, there is a code that works, and uh, this is the most important. The rest, uh, it's experience. Like how we maintain this, how we uh, evolve uh, documentation, examples, etc. This is tiny bits that perhaps we need a vision from ex from the exterior to see. Okay, now yeah. we. If we switch to things, can be more clear for anyone. Yeah. And, uh, well, this is what I'm hope uh, hoping to to help. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not in the Slack uh, yet, uh, but I will talk to to Jamie to to be part. Yeah. So take our time. Thank you so much. <laughs> sure. Okay, so I think we uh, we are closing, and uh, as you roll, we will have uh, this biweekly, and uh, be sure to subscribe from our Zoom or uh, Google Calendar, and uh, if you have any topics to bring to our uh, meeting, just put it in our Etherpad, and uh, yeah, join our Slack, and uh, we have a managed service. Uh, just launched a couple of uh, weeks before and it's in open beta. So if you're interested, just check from mm, the Azure nice. portal. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. So we can call this a day. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. And this should I okay. <laughs>